Okay, we're not sure how this is working out. The welder's running, it's the generator. I don't think it's that cold out, but we're down here at the campgrounds here, down by the tracks or whatever you want to call it. So I'm not sure if the staff got some good video of us going through the bush there and across the muskeg. All right, uh, it's nine o'clock. I got to make some supper. I'm getting weak. All right. Okay, 9.30 at night and we're making supper in the caboose. So the main thing you got to do is make sure your battery or flashlights are charged up and ready to go. We got some orange juice and we won't say what's in there too. But since how we live at the end of the world, we have to buy soy sauce to go on the pierogies. So I made a note what I'm having tonight. Okay, so I got my mustard right here and we got the small butter or whatever for traveling. But this is Canadian click or luncheon meat better known as Spam down in the States. We got some cheese and we're gonna cook up some pierogies here and the fry pan is for the click, okay? And the reason why we don't rely on soy sauce, I mean, we reason why we rely on soy sauce for our meals, because sour cream is rare up here. So sometimes the store has it, sometimes it doesn't. The wood stove is putting out way too much heat because it's warmed up outside and snow has no water value. So I brought some ice, icicles from home, which will melt up nice for washing my hands and the dishes and stuff like that a little later on. All right, so I'm going to burn my supper and get ready for calling it a night, I guess. Okay, that didn't take long because the little Bunsen burner stove puts out a lot of heat here. And we have the attachment to run on propane, not those little bottles. Okay, over here, the supper is served tonight. We got the click or... Spam with the mustard. We have progies with the sour cream. Okay, so just like my list said right there, right? And over here, the floor of the caboose is cold or cool, so you keep your peanut butter and your bread down there because you don't want that stuff too soft. And the cooler here, look at that. Full, full of snow, and we got the suitcase for the eggs. We're good to go. All right, I better eat some supper and get back to work. Okay, three o'clock in the morning and I'm just out here having a pee and I just used the flashlight here to light this up. I'm on the me phone, so I don't know if this is recording, but we got kind of overcast skies, but it's a full moon way, way up there. See that? Now, if it was a clear sky, it'd be beautiful out here for filming and stuff like that. But we got the welder off. It's just calm, clear and nice and quiet. All right, survived the night and it was all right. Once the wood stove died down, we could actually survive in here because it was way too hot. We didn't have the welder running at all. I started it at 6.20 this morning so we can heat up the little caboose here. I cooked some breakfast and I didn't burn it, which was good. We got coffee already made, which is good. And you can see the little stove performed very well. But when you're cooking bacon, we have the escape hat. We have, <coughs> sorry about that, we have the escape hatch open, okay, so let the baking grease go out, or the smoke, and the stove is going to warm up some water so we can do the dishes, and the coffee pot worked out excellent, okay, as you can see it's 7 o'clock in the morning, so I'll eat some breakfast and get going here. Okay, Saturday morning in the kingdom and we survived camping overnight. We have no idea what the temperature is because there's no internet out here. Just take a look around. There's no cell phones. There's no nothing. The sun's shining in my eyes because it's coming up in the south. The Lynn tractor fired up no problem. The welder kept it warm all night. All right. Okay, so we'll just do a quick video here saying we're going back to the yard. And the Lynn tractor will do a tandem pull with the famous black cat up through the back gate. It's not that we're afraid we're going to spin out, power out, or have drama. But if anything goes wrong, everything comes backwards down the little hill and into the power pole that supplies power to the kingdom. And then I have no power for six weeks, okay? We know that. We had that happen about 15 years ago. So we're going to do a tandem pull to be safe, and up and into the yard we go. Okay, and the wood stove was freaking hot in the caboose. I should have went to bed with shake and bake on my body. And I would have woke up like that actor who portrayed Dracula numerous times. Uh, George Hamilton, I think he was. He was known for the brown tan. I would have had a beautiful tan in the morning if I used that shake and bake. 
All right, we better get going. Gas is expensive to have everything running here. Plus the staff is out here on a Saturday helping, so that costs me more beer. All righty. Okay, back in the kingdom, the camping, overnight camping was a success. The Lynn tractor pulled the sleighs good. And remember, this Lynn tractor is the only one working and running free in the world. All others are trapped in a museum or at a fairgrounds, you know, cruising around the parade square and stuff. This one goes out and works and does what it was made to do, okay? It has limitations, which we're pointing out, but it had no problems pulling the sleighs last night. And I think the staff got some really good videos. But that's only three sleighs. We're going to go up to six sleighs. And that way we hit more trees, okay? All right, we've had enough. I'm calling it a day because I was up most of the night with that damn wood stove, okay? But the Swedish kid's happy because I'm not burning fossil fuel to heat the place or whatever. Okay, well, I better go have some drinks and maybe a nap and then I'll see what I'm going to do today. Even the flag exercise looks like me all tuckered out and everything. All right, we'll talk to you later.